Hello! Welcome to LMC and Knowledge, Lyrics Music Channel of Spiritual Insight and Wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at. And whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in that light of Jesus. Okay? Okay. So, before we get into this message, I'll use my shamanic drum to cleanse the space, clear the energy, and we will go from there. Okay, so the message that I have for you guys today is you are being rewarded for your commitment and dedication to your calling. So the first thing that I have to tell you is you're never going to fall off, okay? So I didn't know the full lyrics of this Drake song. I had people tell me I fell off. Okay. I had people tell me I fell off. Oh, I needed that. Then they want to see me pick back up or where I leave it at. I know I exaggerated things. Now I got it like that. Okay. So, it's crazy how it just popped in my head right now. But when I was just trying to um remember the lyrics, I couldn't. So... I had my own little lyric, okay, that I created because I was just like, since I can't say that because I don't remember it, I'm still going to say what I wanted, what I made up. <laughs> so I said, I had people tell me I fell off. I isolated myself, not I'm well off, okay? So <laughs> I didn't know his other line. You know me, I create music and stuff too. So I'm like, I got to make up something like that makes sense. So um not really like make it up like oh this ain't real but like you know make up my own lyrics since i create lyrics and my name is lyric okay okay so <laughs> yes have people tell me i fall off i isolated myself not i'm well off so each year you become more blessed each month you become more blessed because you're passing the test of each month. You're passing these cycles, these lessons. We're Every month is like school. We're still in high school, you guys. Like, it's just not, we're getting graded by spirit. Spirit is our principal. God is our principal. God is our teacher, right? And he grades us on our character. He grades us on our commitment. He grades us on our um our heart. He grades us on our actions on in our daily lives. He grades us on our feelings towards other people and how we react we get graded by our reactions we get graded by our actions like everything is being graded <laughs> um so your commitment was being tested or it's currently being tested you're always going to be tested because your blessings are too big for you to be slacking that's what god's saying like uh-uh you can't be slacking on this because it's too big and it's like in the past god like 20 years ago, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, even five years ago, God will bless these people too soon. Um, and when I say too soon, I mean, you're asking, how can God bless you sooner when you want it? You know, it's when you sell your soul. It's And selling your soul is not, oh, I'm going to pray to the devil. No, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is not wait on God. All you have to do is not follow the direction that God's leading you to. That's how you're working for other energies. That's just, it's that easy. You know what I mean? And people will look on the outside and look like, dang, they living. Like, dang, God, what about me? Why you ain't blessing me? God's like, I didn't bless them. <laughs> I They wanted it so bad. So guess what? I told the devil, like, hey. Give them this into a give it to them. You know, I know what you give to them is temporary as hell. So I know they'll be back in 10 years, they'll be back in five years. So while y'all over there detouring, I'm gonna focus on my chosen ones because like everybody gets called, but not everybody answers their calling, not everybody waits for their calling because there's a time period where you have to wait before you enter your calling, and that's that was me. Um, when I was 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, okay? 
I was a angel, a baby angel of protection for my parents and for the people around me. But that was just the most I could have done for people. Because, you know, you're not an adult yet. You don't, I wasn't awakened to my purpose. Everybody has um, different time spans uh, when they when they awaken, right? Some people awaken when they 12. Like, some people wake up way earlier. But I'm hearing you didn't wake up as early um, as you wish you did, um, then I'm talking to some young people who did wake up on time, um, and I don't want to say, like, it's on time, it's divine time, you know, and I don't want to say, you may feel like, dang, I should have been awoken years ago, but it's like, what if it was divine timing, so you didn't miss out on nothing, is what I'm here to tell you, you didn't miss out on anything, if anything, it missed out on you, but you ain't missing nothing, but they could be missing you, um, you still might not like the way I said that, but I just feel like it's better said that way because you'll know how important you are um, and how God wanted you to be at the right frequency to start your journey, to start your calling in this life, right? So you may have went through certain pitfalls, certain downfalls, and you know, God didn't, God didn't want you in your calling around certain people because then it would make it even harder for you to listen to him, hear him, and it just it would just be even worse. You know, sometimes that's why God makes you wait because certain people can't be around you when you're in your calling. Certain family members, certain relationships, certain communities, certain work, certain jobs, certain people, like certain places. Like, what if God wants you to be in your calling at a specific home, in a specific car, at a specific job? You know, and it's not. It wasn't supposed to be then. You know what I mean? So you're realizing that everything is on time. You're realizing that you're not running with your your head cut off in this world. How everybody feels like they have to keep going, keep going, keep going to achieve success. And if other people are achieving success, that means you're unsuccessful. No, you're unsuccessful when you're not doing nothing for yourself. That's what makes you unsuccessful. But you... Seeing other people succeed makes you feel like you didn't succeed. That's when you feel like that's a personal problem. Now, now you project it. Now you, now you're not focused on your purpose. I'm not here to talk about. I'm, this is just me talking right now, right? But with that being said, people think just because you don't post your progress to the world on broadcast live now, okay? Just because you're not showing what you're doing in your life, they think you're not successful. When it's a whole fool, they're, they're fools to think that you're not succeeding right now. And you may be your, uh, I don't want to call you a fool, but if you think you're not succeeding right now, you're just, you're silly. Okay, because you're definitely, I'm here to tell you, you're successful right now. Like, you need to appreciate where you're at or you're becoming more appreciative to where you're at. I know you want to be somewhere else right now, but you're in success right now. Sometimes it's just like, what's your definition of success? You know, that's when you have to ask yourself that and break those things down so you can realize that you are already successful. You got a relationship with God. Oh, you are already successful. It's so many people got so many businesses, but they don't got God. You got all these cars, but you don't got God. What? That don't make sense, right? You traveling to all these places and all that stuff, but you can't travel with God. You can't bring him along with you. Like I'm talking about being on a plane, consciously aware of God speaking to you while you're in a plane, being at a public place and being so in tune with God that you're speaking to him through your thoughts when when you're at an amusement park type of thing. Like imagine people at amusement parks and yes, you're coming there to have fun and all that stuff, but imagine how many people that are lost around you. They're not even tapped into God right now, but you're tapped in. That's what success is. Your spiritual gifts is what brings you success. You're successful because of you using your spiritual gifts that nobody can take away from you. That's when I love, that's when I knew I was successful when I was like, I got something that's within me, multiple things that are within me that nobody could rob me for. You can't rob me from it. No human can take this from me. Um, this power, right? You know your power. Some people are working so hard. And I had this same example of um, 
people working for 20 years, 30 years, right? To just to get that retirement check. And no offense to anybody who got retirement, but checks and they work for other people for years and years and years. But was that your dream? Is my question. You're living in your dream. You're following your dream, your childhood dream, your teenage dream, your adulthood dream. And these people aren't. They're just trying to chase the money. They're trying to get the bag. And that's not what you wanted in this life. Your life wasn't money, 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 money. Now I'm hearing that Jesse J song. Um, it's not about the money, money, money. We don't need your money, money, money. We just want to make the world dance. Forget about the price tag. Ain't about the, uh, cha-ching, cha-ching. Ain't about the, yeah. But bling, but bling, want to make the world dance. Forget about the price tag. Seems like everybody's got a price. I wonder how they sleep at night. So... Everybody's so focused on the material world, but you focused on this in the spirit. Okay So, okay one second you guys because one of my videos just uploaded I got to put the timestamps right here so pow one Is one forty seven Pow two Is fifteen 11 okay cool got that so back to you guys okay so yeah you are let's pull some cards let's just do that right now mm -mm -mm. oh love begins soon as i split the deck in sacral chakra so you're working on your sacral ch chakra your confidence your sexual energy you're either celibate right now or you're being called to be celibate because that's how you charge up your power. Your celibacy is your power. Because if you can create a child out of out of your sexual energy, what else do you think you can create with that? Now I'm hearing sex, something about sex magic. Now somebody's getting a little spooked because I said that. Um, sex magic is you creating a child. That's magic. That's a spell. That is the, So if you felt weird with me saying, oh my gosh, Lord, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. This just cut me all the way off. Recognition and reward. And what was the, what was the topic? Okay. You are being rewarded for your commitment and dedication to your calling. You on point. You gaining this authority. You're in balance right now. You're, you're maintaining your balance. Now I'm hearing a temperance card. I'm seeing, when I see this card, I see the temperance because the temperance also has angels. So you're an earth angel. Look at you with all your tools. You know the tool. You have the tools, the pinnacle, the, the love. You got that, Um, okay, the passion. Also, I'm looking at this as a magician too. So you, you're an alchemist. You you cast spells or something like that. Um, But yeah, you're balancing all areas of your life right now. And it definitely took time. For you to make the right choices for yourself um you're very hopeful in what the universe and what god can do for you right now you're putting all your trust you're speaking up about something your throat chakra is open at this moment but um oh yeah with the sex magic thing okay so people don't they misuse their sexual energy for the wrong things like sometimes people have porn addictions sometimes people have sex addictions and stuff but then um healthy healthy masturbation and i know this might be a little weird but healthy masturbation and it's about calling in your guides calling in spirit to i'm hearing somebody listening to frequencies as they masturbate okay and manifesting so it's like i'm seeing somebody write something down okay i want this and it could be self-love. You could be using your sexual energy to gain confidence and all that type of stuff. Because sexual energy has a lot to do with your confidence. So, um, yeah. And, oh, phone ringing. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, big bro. I'm going to call you in one second. But, um, yeah. So, what I'm hearing right now is, ooh, your voice being anointed. You could be, um... Your voice has a lot of power and you can manifest what you want. You have the gift of gab is what I'm hearing for you right now. Um, yeah, 
definitely you're talking to your spirit guides it's like every time you tap in every time you pray your voice gets stronger your frequency your vibration gets more powerful um yeah you're gaining the truth um so each year like i said each month that you're committed each day like god tallies up your prayers god tallies up your spiritual actions your spiritual growth your the the shadow work god's tallying up all of your shadow work god's tallying up all the time that you have cleansed and healed yourself and it's causing you you're, you're shifting the frequencies around you i'm hearing like if you did shadow work every single day like it could just be writing out something pops in your head right Imagine something negative, and I'm just saying, why, why would you make me imagine that? Something, I'm going to bring it up to the surface right now. So imagine something that happened to you in the past, and you've been healing from it, right? But it's still there. It's still popping up right now, right? Write it down, burn it, put it in the grass, right? Then the next day, think of something else that affected you really bad. Write it down, burn it, put it in the grass. Do that every single day, just like school, how you have to go to school every single week. Even if you did it for five days out of the week, you're going to literally open your heart chakra faster than you ever thought. And it's the frequency of love that attracts everything to you. It's not no other frequency but love. Love is what created your abundance. Love is what's bringing in your rewards, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to follow those instructions too, okay? Every single time... You do your shadow work, you get stronger spiritually. So that means any attack that's trying to be used against you, maybe it tried to bring you down a few years ago. You didn't know you was being attacked, but now that you're aware and you're healing and you're releasing, now you're getting stronger every time you release. You don't even have to say, I'm doing protection, protection spells. Nothing gonna touch you because then you're gonna start transmuting the energy. Oh, I, I eat those. Oh, I eat all that negative energy as a snack. Okay, it's not it, it's it's light work. Um all these attacks is light work. It's like okay, oh you thanks you for giving me that energy because now I'm gonna transmute it. Now I'm gonna use it. You know what I mean? So how just how they try to use your energy, use our good energy. We're gonna use yours, transmute it. Aha, uh -huh. now it's good energy. <laughs> but <laughs> With that being said, um, you're definitely, I'm hearing Super Saiyan, you may like, I don't know what that was called, what the heck, Super Saiyan, I'm just hearing that right now, but um, just powering up on these people, Sacral Chakra too. Okay, just powering up on yo these energies. You stand in your ground. You're becoming more stronger when you speak your truth with that throat chakra. So, definitely, if you... Ooh, the shadow just came out right here. Shadow. Remember I said shadow, shadow work. So, it's like you're balancing these energies real quick. You can nip these energies in the bud, whatever energies you're feeling. Any lack, any abandonment issues, any um, neglect that anybody tried to put on you release them every single day just it's just, just chip it away chip at it away like you don't have to do a full-blown hour or even 10 minutes of releasing literally just as soon as something negative pops in your head release it don't even think about it like oh that's so sad that's so bad so you in solitude working on yourself getting this knowledge reading your journal or looking back at the notes that you wrote years ago and you're like wow i came a long way or dang i was speaking like this like i'm very intelligent sometimes uh as years go by or months go by i can definitely relate to that like i'm looking back at my notes like was this me and then i said was this me in a good way like i was saying this like what the, who was this person like because sometimes you kind of you kind of fall off a little bit and you know you're not going to be perfect every single day but as long as you're committed each year as long as you're committed each month you're literally going to continue to be on the, the right path you'll never fall off and you'll always stay in your power so that's what i got for you guys i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video peace